Imagination is a quality that is, it, it, it might seem a bit bizarre to suggest this, it's a quality that seems to be getting more rare. You look back on the great artists like Miro, um, you know, the, the German Expressionists, or Cezanne, or Matisse, and that's all imagination, you know, because they're not, as I said, they're not interested in, suddenly there's a turn in art, and they're not interested in painting things as they are, but how they perceive them. And that's what I try to do, so I put my own slant onto my work, so what you see is all from Maitland's imagination. And it all comes down to between that and what's in there, you know, and of course the hand coordination. I want the viewer to be able to look at the work and see, if not themselves, probably even a member of their own family. I want that work to touch them, if it's, if it's a child or a mother and child. I want them to be able to, but I want them to put their, bring their own reality about the work. In other words, I have my reasons for painting that work, but whatever they see, as far as I'm concerned, is their reality. The first thing I work towards is beauty. I am a beauty. I'm a lover of beauty. I've said before that I like to pick out the frailty in things. So I see the imperfections as being the beauty of the work. And that's what I think is that tension is what people respond to. And it's what I respond to. 